Ahoy there. Hello. Saluting the flagship. Absolutely. Salute the ensign. I don't think we're going under that bridge. Hello, welcome back. Look at this beautiful place. So uh, it's been a long time coming, but me and Simon have got back out into Scandinavia. We uh, yesterday flew into Norway and uh, we travelled to Sweden and uh, we're going to be paddling through lots of little lakes, a couple of big ones like Regen and uh, yeah, back into Norway, so about three days three or four days in Sweden and three or four days in Norway as well. The beginning of our trip. We've already done one portage. <laughs> yeah, and just about to uh, meet Simon here for another one. Hello. <laughs> Portage <laughs> two down. Yeah, half hour in two portages. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've walked further than we've paddled, I think. <laughs> and now a slightly bigger lake. That's our second portage done. Simon snacking. <laughs> Secretly in the background. 
and yeah slightly bigger lake this making our way over uh, another portage I think if it looks okay is going to allow us to cut out three others um, so one instead of three as long as the terrain is okay um, but yeah this is a beautiful lake isn't it Gorgeous. oh look there's a tent up there did not spot that. So yeah, that's the first person we've seen out here. I think we're just after kind of the, uh, well, busy. I don't think it's that busy up here, period. I think we're something like 700 miles north of Gothenburg where we flew into last time for our last trip. We're quite a ways north, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, and higher. And higher, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the elevation is pretty high up. Almost at the, almost at the limit of vegetation or tree growth, aren't we? Well, yeah, that hill over there, the trees just disappear, don't they? Yeah, pretty much at the tree line. And they're a bit sparser, but beautiful. We're just checking out the shoreline here, picking out where to portage across to try and save on three others. They're not big, it's just getting everything out of the canoes and putting it back in, getting out, getting in. But it's looking quite rocky. How's it look? There's a path, there oh. is a route. It's a, probably three or four hundred meters up, down to a boggy bit, a little bit up, and then down. It's better than three, probably. It's rocky, it's like this, it's bouldery, um, but it's definitely doable. Well, let's try it then. Yeah. That's our last portage of the day, thankfully. It was a long, rocky one, but uh, I think it beats doing three short, rocky ones with all this kit. But uh, yeah, it's good to have that behind us. Now, we're just doing a bit of a loop round on this kind of U-shaped lake, and um, there's a camp spot. There's currently a um, partial fire ban here, so uh, we can have a fire at the, um, the shelters, similar to what we stayed in um, down south in Sweden, the wind shelters, and they've got fireplaces. We can have small fires away from trees and stuff, but uh, yeah, it'd be nice to have a little base camp. So we're gonna get there, check the site out, have some lunch, maybe have a little paddle, and uh, laugh at Simon trying to catch some fish. 
He pretended he didn't hear, but he heard. We have wind as we come around that corner there. Quite shallow, all these reeds and the odd rock underneath the paddle. But yeah, around this corner, along a bit, and we are at potential camp. A beautiful first day here, or well, second day technically, but first day with you guys. This is our shelter up here by the looks of it. Quite up high. But there's a little, little uh, place there to stop, maybe. I'm spinning. <laughs> Always take the best parking spot. Nice. That's quite a nice little shelter, just like being at home. And it looks like there's trees enough around for us to both use our hammocks. But yeah, beautiful view here. Nice fire pit, some wood in there as well, and a wok and a saw. One of the little lacks on there as well. Can even have a poo with a view. It's not very nice in there. Moose poo spotted. Maybe I'll get to see one this time. I'm pretty sure that's likely to be a moose print too. Well, our plans haven't quite worked out. <laughs> a couple of people just arrived shortly after we did and they're planning on staying here for the night. And us doing our filming, it doesn't really work being around other people. So we're gonna have to press on Maybe to the next shelter, but it's quite far. Um, easily what we did again, and more portaging. So uh, there's that, or we could wild camp and not have a fire, or just use a little stick stove or something. Um, so we're gonna have a look at the map and have a little think about it and have a spot of lunch first. Some jerky. Mm. Thank you very much. Oh, that's nice. Chili. Sweet hot beef. Mm. Polar bread, squeezy cheese, and jerky. Nice quick lunch so we can get moving on.
Well, back on the water. <laughs> we was going to have a paddle anyway, but now we've got to look for a uh, camp spot and no campfire. So I can't get any more things wet because I can't dry them out. The days are fine. It's like 15 degrees or so, which is a bit of a change coming over from 30 something. But um, yeah, the nights are a bit chilly, about five degrees at the moment. It's just like the end of summer here. And there'll be getting snow next month. We paddled for about two hours or so looking for a, a nice spot, but uh, couldn't really find one and we settled on this, which has previously been used as a campsite. There's an old fire pit and stuff, but it's just a little peninsula. And uh, yeah, I've decided on this spot. It's very calm, may regret it, but uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna put it here, right down on the foreshore. It's a lovely little spot, lovely view, nice to wake up to. As I said in a previous video when I was trying this kit out, I'm using the Amok hammock system for this whole trip. So that's the mat, which is the winter one, um, the hammock itself and the tarp as well.
Well, there it is, all set up. I was worried for a minute it wasn't going to be wide enough, but um, an hammock isn't as wide as a hammock, so not too bad. Uh, pegging out points are a little soft, so we'll see. As long as the weather stays like this, we'll be fine. Before seeing that the weather had cooled down a lot here, I was just bringing this down quilt, but um, I decided to bring a, a very lightweight sleeping bag as well. So we should be good. Right, I've just copied Simon, he's using these um, paddles just to hoist up his tarp, so I thought I'd do that in the middle, just because the feet were touching it a bit on this end. Um, I did want to keep it closed down in case there was wind, but yeah, that should be alright now. The bugs are starting to come out, we knew that from last night, there was a load of them when we camped where we started, so I'm using MIGA. <laughs> I've got some Nordic Summer with me and some Jungle Formula as well, but this has been recommended, so... out of my waterproof sealskin socks and my um, water shoes into some nice fancy croc style things and real socks but uh, yeah I'm not too impressed with these so far look at that for a start the other one's disappeared in there they keep coming off at the back that off of my heel Simon's got his honey stove, I've brought my bush box and because we can't have a fire we're just going to use both of these for uh, our trenchiers. That's pan number one on, got some Kent potatoes <laughs> to go with um, a couple of steaks which I do on the bush box next to it when they're starting to soften up a bit and brown up. So hungry. <laughs> hungry. <laughs> hungry. Yeah. Maybe I should have parboiled them. It'll take a bit. It'll take a bit longer, but well, it's all well, in. I don't know. I think it might even be quicker. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. We got our steaks because they're fresh, so we have to get them eaten. Steaks are just getting warmed through a bit before we cook them. Potatoes are almost there, and the steaks won't take long at all. Steak time. <laughs> Get up! <laughs> Give them some salt. Steak seasoning to go on mine. Should we that one in yours, Andy? Nah, salt's okay. Carbon nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Some ketchup, I lubricate them. Oh yeah. Uh, 
Squid test. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Gotta be ketchup. Some native ketchup. <laughs> Oh. oh no! <laughs> That's not ketchup. Well, I could have mustard. some mustard on the steak. It's That's mustard. fine. <laughs> I was tricked. <laughs> okay, I got tricked by Simon. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, overspurt. Oh, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. We should have a, a beverage. Good idea. I'm a little more medium than medium rare, but... <laughs> Got a Velstand Norwegian IPA. Mm. Let's put them in here. Shaken up a little bit. Cheers, big ears. Cheers. Very nice. Oh, that is nice. Ah, mm. oh, right, steak. steak. <laughs> oh, it's really hot. <laughs> oh. Don't go anymore. Mm. It's okay. Fills a hole. We needed it. Mm. Mm. It's not as good as last night. We had. Um, Reindeer, mm. um, wild mushrooms, and mashed potatoes, uh, mashed potatoes and lingonberry jam oh, made good. by our host, um, Peter, who lent us the canoes and a few other bits of kit and drove us from the airport. Mm. And will be picking us up on the other end in Norway as well. Very kind of him. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> yeah, thank you. But anyway, that was a good meal. <laughs> That's what we needed after that long day. Absolutely. Uh, assembling the canoes. Perfect reflection. Like mine. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a campfire? <laughs> well, exactly. Yeah. Well, you have this. Right, we're off to bed now, so I'm just going to get in the hammock. I'm not going to film that because I'm not the best at doing it. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. So serious. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning to you. Did we sleep well? Uh, I slept pretty well. I um, got a bit cold in the early hours of the morning. Had to 
wriggle, wriggle down into my sleeping bag. Yeah, it was a bit chilly. Bit of a cold nose. <laughs> but no, slept, slept pretty well, pretty well. Woke up to this yeah. fine morning and fine view. Beautiful. No sizzle. Ah, uh, it'll sizzle in good time. <laughs> it'll sizzle when it's ready. <laughs> Another two there. Seven. Seven rashes. What crazy country gives you seven rashes? <laughs> Oh, it smells good. There it goes. I'm really hungry, actually. Yeah. Well, you were hungry last night still. Yeah. We never did have pudding, did we? No. That might have been broken in the shell. Yeah. Oh, well, that one definitely was. <laughs> We've made bacon and egg sarnies out of these polar breads that they have here that we've both missed quite a lot from the last trip. They're so kind of light and sweet. And yes, there's ketchup in there. Oh, definitely need this. Oh, that's greasy. <laughs>
that's us all packed up and on the move took a little bit of time I actually had to get Simon to give me a hand uh, last night in how to get in an amok I'd completely forgotten I was doing something wrong but I've got it down to a T now <laughs> right so we're making it gonna try and make way to another shelter that's a little ways away a um, couple of miles a few portages so we better get a move on You could not ask for fairer weather for a paddle. It's just so calm. And sunny. Got some new sunglasses. <laughs> Beautiful these small, I say small, they're quite big for England <laughs> lakes. Yeah, lovely. But I think we got four portages today from lake to lake. Which isn't too bad I guess. It's a chance we might skip lunch I guess. We had quite a big breakfast. Let's see how we get on. Perfect paddling conditions. Dead end. Up there near where them rocks are. And we missed it. Yeah. Reverse. <laughs> yeah, that's it up there, mate. We've gone down there. I'll show you that. camped here last night we've come around here and I think we've just come down here oh I see yeah uh, and we yeah, should have gone than there, there into that one and then there into that one and then we've got to go from that one we've got to go up and then cross over into that one so we've got to go up and left really haven't we I guess it's not open then. Hey? I guess it's not open the way. It's No, no, no. No, this is the first of the portages. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, so it looks it's hard to tell on some, isn't it? Yeah, I think where if they come together like that, they are like this. Go tracker. Huh? Go tracker. <laughs> it's very warm today. This is the longest portage yet. Not quite as steep as the other long one we did, but it's a fair ways. But it skips out a little lake, which isn't worth paddling. Almost a pond. Around to the next big one. Yeah. Canoes, bags, food, barrel, done.
this is the small lake we're skipping and we're carrying on up on this path to the next lake Lunch. I'm starving actually. Yeah. We've got some of that um, mousse, mousse, uh, mousse sausage here. Some powder bread. Oh yes. And some cheese. Ooh. And orange juice. Uh. Got some moose sausage here, um, like a preserved sausage, which we had uh, the other evening with with Peter when he dropped us off at uh, our starting point. Oh no, we've got odd number here. Have to be <laughs> two and a half. And as we discovered, they've got quite a tough skin on them, so I'm going to give them a little slice like this because it makes it easier to peel them. And they're really, really tasty. Got my orange from this morning that I didn't drink as I was drinking tea and we've got basically the same lunch as yesterday try and preserve some of our alcohol. So we've got unknown meat cheese <laughs> <laughs> and known meat which is moose. Moose sausage sir. Ooh, is that the big one? <laughs> big moose. <laughs> And then we're going to get back on the go. A little bit of a paddle this time. I think we should be on water, water mm. for, for yeah for a bit longer now, which is which is good. Because that was a big portage. It was. <laughs> My feet are killing me. I think it's just because these shoes are so soft and you've mm. your feet flex all over the rocks. Well, it's surprisingly okay considering these aren't great. <laughs> Link the half a sausage. Is this the last of it? Mm. It's the last. Mm. It's a tiny bit left. But we have chocolate spread, don't forget. Oh yeah, I don't know if that goes with sausage and stuff. That's lunch all done. Now for probably the longest paddle of the day, to be honest, before hopefully a, one more quick portage to camp. Well, some of these little lakes are just beautiful. Just so still. We got like no wind at the moment. The only thing affecting the boat is me. We've just come out onto one of the bigger lakes we've been on. So we've just got to do the span of that. And then we've got a little bit of portage to the shelter. 
fingers crossed we can have it to ourselves not out of greed just because of filming but yeah this kind of surrounded by hills mountains a bit of both beautiful I'm gonna keep saying that beautiful <laughs> coming into a boat graveyard. Well done, my hero. Oh. Very shallow with the rocks in here, so kind of going over them a little bit, trying to avoid them. We're just trying to find the point we hit land to get to the shelter. It's in here somewhere. And then we've got probably a horrible portage. <laughs> but there's no rush. Thank you to Simon for lining both <laughs> boats down. That was a bit tight, <laughs> but a bit shallow. <laughs> Seeing as you've done the first one, it only made sense for you to do the second one. You knew the route. It was better without the bags in it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was a bit quicker. <laughs> We're here. Going to go and have a recce of the, the trail. Yep. As luck would have it, there is someone at the shelter, but uh, this is such a nice little bay on this little lake, and there is a fire pit here already, so we think we're going to be okay just using our twig stove, and just setting up here, and then making our way over to Norway in the morning after doing this portage across. So yeah, I think we're going to stay here for the night.
the hammock all set up. Surprisingly easy that hammock. Once you know what's what, everything has its place, everything winds up nicely, it's, it's really easy to put up. I wasn't sure if it would reach that span but did it easily, could have done a lot more. I've just folded back my tarp for now, um, just because it's so nice if I do sit in it as a hammock seat as well. But yeah, Simon's up over there somewhere, he's found a spot and uh, I guess we're going to have to find some twigs and stuff for our uh, wood stoves. There's a bug on my lens. It's a nice looking spot but uh, we have accepted the fact it's going to be quite insecty. This is quite shallow water down here and the ground I'm on is quite marshy. My chair actually sunk into it. But um, it's a nice spot. We've got plenty of uh, varieties of bug repellent as well. Nordic summer, jungle, that um, Norwegian one don't even know the name of now, Migo or whatever it was. I think we're going to be okay. Up here over the rocks, up on higher ground is Simon's setup. And his waterproof socks. Yeah, <laughs> they need a drying. <laughs> As you can see he's using his war bonnet top with his hammock, just for a little extra coverage. Yeah, got a view down there of the lake. And I'm over there somewhere. Just had the first disaster of the trip, I realised my jacket is at the first camp and that's miles away, loads of portages, um, that, that rapids or whatever you want to call it, the rocks, there's no way I'm going to get it and completing this kind of um, trip. So luckily I've got this, which is like a down jacket for the evenings, but um, I don't have a waterproof. So far so good, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what happened, it's obviously olive green, I probably put it on the floor and it blended in when I was packing and completely missed it, kind of was rushing a little bit to get going. <sighs> well, that's the first thing, hopefully the only thing, and hopefully this does the job. The floor here, everywhere we've been, has been completely covered in blueberries. So we're going to make use of them tomorrow with our pancakes. Mmm. So nice. I think Simon's gone to try his hand at fishing around the corner there. So I'm going to potter around, might collect some wood for the uh, stoves, charge some batteries. <laughs> I'm going to go and try and catch a fishy. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, it ain't going to happen. But I'm going to um, going to have a go. Good luck.
Let me guess. It was this big when it got away. I caught some twigs for the <laughs> twig stove. <laughs> I think that should be enough for three <laughs> stoves, don't you? I reckon. Pepper and onion for our pasta dish. Let's get that out. No, that didn't work. <laughs> Star of the show here, and a chorizo. 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 <laughs> what is it? See if this is one with the nice skin that can come off. Found, um, well Andy found a nice dead standing birch over there with a load of bark on it so we thought we'd have a, a birch bark off. <laughs> we have actually bought uh, fire lighters and stuff with us but, and this is quite damp this stuff but it is a bit damp, it's a bit damp isn't it? Or might, might, might work. Uh, I'm being first. impatient. <laughs> Hang on, wait for me. Oh, we have to get the same time. Yeah. If it was like a race. No, it's well, well I'm gonna do more prep then. Uh, it might have been uh, I think that was a draw. Even Stevens there. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've got the oil on for Andy's chorizo and onion Beige. delight, and um, got some water on for pasta. And I know there's going to be people complaining about putting the pasta in cold water. The diehards amongst you, but it's different when you're camping, exactly, and it still works. So na 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 na. I don't want to waste fuel. <laughs> Ooh, look at the colours.
Yeah, give it a mix. Looks like we're always in here, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. And you look spectacular. Do the job, wouldn't it? Yeah. We can go back for seconds. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, sir. Oh, thank you. Big wave. Oh, I love this beer. You've had it before? Yeah. Who's this by? Uh, Kona. Kona Brewing Company. Are they? I really like this. That's cool. <laughs> Are they Swedish? I don't know. Don't know. <sighs> Glasses on. No, American. Oh, of course, they're Hawaii, Kona, yeah. Cheers. Chin chin. Oh, mmm, it's good. It's nice, fruity. How does it go with this? Beer goes with anything well. We've got double spice going on here, arabiata sauce and chorizo. Mm. And all them oils. Mm. 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 So hungry. Warmer at this time than it was yesterday as well, isn't it? Yeah. I was worried it was just going to go because the clear <coughs> skies. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not too bad.
pick a pancake up. That's breakfast all done. And I think we needed it for uh, what we're about to do. <laughs> Got this long portage all the way over to um, the other side to get onto Lake Rogan. And uh, yeah, we were quite busy this morning getting ready so we wasn't leaving too late like we did yesterday. So we're going to get everything over in about three trips hopefully. And I'll see you on the other side. Well, that's us on our way. Now paddle into the sun here. So I think we are technically on Lake Rugen now, which is a pretty big lake. Well, we're gonna paddle around the corner, a couple of kilometers, where there's meant to be like a picnic area, um, and uh, have some lunch before making the big crossing over into Norway. Although I think that is technically Norway. I'm not sure exactly where the border is along here somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, border hopping today. I think the fire ban isn't as um, drastic over there. We can have a small fire away from flammable things. Still good weather. Out of the wind here. Bit out of the wind. A little bit, not so bad, not as bad as that now is it? As you can probably tell, we've hit the wider part of the lake, Lake Rugen, and we're getting some uh, Bigger waves now, and the wind, which seems to be right ahead of us, even though it's ahead of us coming out there. <laughs> so yeah, get down here a ways. We're gonna stop for lunch before we do the big cross. I mean, that last one was big enough, to be honest. <laughs>
Oh, that was a hard paddle. <sighs> Coming around that headland there, against all the wind and the waves was pretty nasty. Took a couple of attempts as well. We've got to our, well, I was gonna say halfway point, probably not halfway at all. We've got the all across the lake to do yet, which I'm not looking forward to. I don't think I'll be filming much of it, <laughs> but we're gonna Get some energies for some food before attempting that. Well, I'm knackered. <laughs> Feel like I've just given it my all. Lunch with a view. Right, that's us off again. <laughs> now for the hard part. As if the last part wasn't hard enough. Whew. Need to do this more than every year and a half or so to uh, be competent. I'm merely a novice and trying to do a very big lake. I think the wind's died down, but uh, it's a long old way, as you'll see on the map. Ready? <laughs> no. <laughs> but let's try anyway. Yeah. That looks like a good. Doesn't look like there's anything in the middle, does it? Hey? Doesn't look like there's anything in the middle. No, I don't think so. After you. After you. Oh man, this is brutal. I think we've done about two kilometers through this lake and it's all against the wind and the waves. So just barely moving as you paddle. Heading towards the closest part of the lake on the other side or other end. And gonna follow the shoreline the rest of the way. Last, I don't know, three kilometers, whatever it is. That's the plan. Oh dear. But then the fun stuff should start. <laughs> was it grueling or was it just me? It was grueling. It was grueling, man. By anybody's standard. Well, that was probably four kilometers Ooh. into the wind. Wave. And what sort of speed were we doing? I don't know, probably like nothing. <laughs> two, one or two miles an hour, probably, or kilometers an hour. That. Into the wind. You just, you just, if you stop pet paddling for a second you just go backwards don't yeah. you? Yeah, relentless. Yeah, that was hard work. Relentless. But we're here and luck would have it we've actually landed at the spot where there's a camp spot. So 
got this sun. <laughs> We've got a fire pit. Oh. <laughs> and plenty of wood. Now you'd think in a spot like this we'd uh, have plenty of options for our hammocks but we've had a real hunt around. I've uh, found this one behind me, some rocks below it but uh, seems to work out just fine and Simon is up there somewhere I can hear him talking to the uh, camera. God I'm shaking from that three hour paddle against the wind. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I think we'll process some wood and get fire going shortly. Man, get to sleep well tonight. Which you can probably tell from the smoke, <laughs> we've got the fire up and going. Um, gonna make kind of a sort of a chili with the bits we've got: beans, stock, uh, some peppers, and onion. Uh, the last two of them we've got, and um, some stock and some reindeer meat. Um, I think it's kind of dried reindeer meat. I'm gonna cut that down, put it in there, let it rehydrate, and uh, yeah, have a good, well-deserved meal. proper that is.
reindeer is nice, but I think it's lost its flavour. A little chewy. Through being in here. Mm. Needed that. Must have had a fatty bit. I'm as tender as you like. Good morning. Had some wind last night and because of this thick moss layer here it uh, yanked out two of my tent pegs and uh, the tarp started flapping around so I had to get up in the night to uh, tie one round a rock and one round my pack <laughs> throw that out um, but it was okay after that. Yeah, slept pretty well to be honest. I needed it. I'm still asleep now I think. <laughs> it's quite a challenging one this, even compared to the last time when I was sick. The distances, the, the portages. First blisters today. But yeah, just got to take these little moments to appreciate the surroundings. Good news is that water's looking nice, so hopefully the paddle won't be a tough one round to the river and crossing the Norway border. But first some breakfast. Bush box for breakfast, so we don't have to wait for coals and stuff on the fire. I'm going to put it inside there. Some really nice papery birch. We'll see if that will take a spark. There we go. Get on there. Transfer that into here. Oh, oh yeah. Another two. I commend you. Well, those on your canoe. Hey, eh? they're on your canoe, so. Ah, it's your smooth sailing. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that smooth yesterday, Jesus. Just gonna cut the avocado. Feels still good. Yeah, lovely. Plant an avocado tree. Look. 
quite small, do you have one each? And some bacon. Oh, hang on. Mm. Ah. Oh dear, sorry, mate. Oh. I don't think I want to be near that one. <laughs> now with ketchup. <laughs> yeah. Keep craving the um, fresh stuff, don't we? Yeah, definitely more excited about the avocado than the bacon and eggs. And the apple for lunch today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going for I'm going for a sandwich. It's <laughs> good. Mm. Yes, sir. Well, that's us underway again, getting back onto the big lake, or back out into it, for I think it's about three kilometers till the Norwegian border and we go onto the river section. And uh, yeah, some white waters apparently. I was pretty tired last night, so didn't film too much. Just wanted to eat and sleep, basically. Still pretty achy this morning, but uh, we'll get through it. I'll just live out here forever.
Thankfully, the lake is a lot calmer than it was yesterday. It's a little bit of a breeze, gusts here and there, but nothing like yesterday was. Be nice to get to camp a little early than uh, we have been doing, because everything's so rushed. Everything's quite rushed in the morning as well. Just a bit of time to sit back and relax and actually appreciate this. There's a rock over there. Oh shit, there's a couple of rocks. I'm going to have to cut in front of you a little bit. With these rocks. And we are right now passing from Sweden to Norway, as long as I don't hit these rocks. <laughs> It's shallow there with the rocks. And I'd say Norway now. Agree? Norway. <laughs> We're now in Norway. And not too far to the mouth of the river. Well, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but uh, we can hear the white water going from the lake to the river directly in front there. So we're heading to the side of the mouth to check it out before just heading in blind. Knows you're boating on here, mate. So it doesn't end up going down. Fish. <laughs> what a little yellow one. <laughs> <laughs> nice to do tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're here, we are on the river. Simon's just getting his canoe in the water. Rapids behind me. <laughs> we might have some that we can actually go down, but that was, yeah, way too dangerous, especially in a um, soft shell canoe like this. But uh, yeah, hopefully the hard paddling's behind us. Just enjoy it.
We've got an apple each. Oh, Oh, fantastic. I really enjoyed that apple yesterday. These are those crackers. Oh, they're cinnamon. Ah, they're biscuits. Yeah, we'll give them out. Yeah. We've got another cheese, haven't we? Yeah, I think I've got, I've got cheese here. Ham, cheese and ham. Skink ost. Crocodile Dundee vibes and Indiana Jones. <laughs> We both had our hats on, didn't we? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I prefer this one to the, the one that we couldn't wait, work out what flavour it was. I prefer the other. Mm. We just found these sort of cinnamon, I don't know, cookies, biscuits, whatever they are. Crisp, they're kind of sweet crisp breads. Yeah, they're like a cinnamon roll. And then we got this as well because Peter who got our shopping for us put some other things in thinking we might like them but yeah I think we are gonna like these here goes mm. chocolate spread makes it don't it oh, yeah a little moisture We've only been paddling 10-15 minutes and we've come to the next section of river so we're going to have to check out see what the rapids are like, if there is rapids There's a little uh, rope bridge going across as well for the hikers We just completed our first bit of white water. I did get stuck. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. First time I've ever done it. We're just approaching another one now because this is only a small lake we've uh, come into. But I think this one, the fact I can hear it already, means we're probably going to portage around it. We'll have a look. Glad I've got the speed up there. <laughs> Wanna do that one as well? Huh? Wanna do that one as well? Hang on, I haven't had a chance to look. Simon's lining the canoes down through this rapid. Problem is uh, the water level is very low at the moment from the really hot summer, which is why I got hung up on a couple. I uh, didn't even see them. So um, yeah, he's lining them down this one and he's doing them both because he doesn't trust me after that. <laughs> Don't blame him.
a bit windy in here. We're just channeling through into the last lake of the day. We're gonna try and get to the other end of it. So there's a, a bit less for the next day because we have to be at a certain point at a certain time. Let's hope it's not all wind against us like it is right now. So we've just come out into the lake past them rocks and a little bit wavy the wind against us. I'm pretty sure that's going to be far for the course the rest of the route to be honest. The wind channeling through the lakes and rivers. We'll see. Yeah we're just going to get over here. Just going to be a little bit of a paddle and try and find somewhere suitable to camp for. Hunting for a campsite but it's all looking a bit like this at the moment. So onwards. Pull alongside Andy. Have an explore. Well, we've just explored quite a large area behind me there. But it's all just rocks and reindeer moss and bluebells. There's nothing to peg into. There's no trees that are good to hammock. There was a couple of fire pits though. But then we found a nice spot over here on a bit of a trail by the looks of it. And it's got a fire pit that's been used before. It looks quite safe, so yeah, it's getting on. We need to set up camp. Both of us now. Roll over away from you, yeah? Well, we're here. Canoes are out of the water. Kit's out of the canoes. We've both picked our spots just over here. So we just need to get set up. Process a little firewood. Nothing too big. Uh, using this pre-existing fire pit here and um, jobs are good and beautiful spot panoramic views That's me all set up. Simon's still just setting up over here. Obviously, same setup, the Amok setup as the uh, last few nights. Uh, quite a lot of wind coming this way, so everything was blowing. I've put rocks on each of the tie out points and using the paddles there just to lift up the tarp at the front and back where the head and feet are as well. I may drop down the front if I need to because uh, the wind will see. See how it goes.
Right, we're all in our dry clothes, everything's set up. So just on a bit of a firewood hunt now. Nothing too big, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be nice to keep us warm. It's gonna be a little windy tonight. Let's see what there is about. Waist deep is a little bit, you know, waist. <laughs> you didn't quite get waist deep, did you? Oh, I was about here. About here. <laughs> well, yeah. My you need waders my, then. My wallet's in my pocket, which got absolutely drenched. But I don't think there's anything in it. Yeah, chest waders is just what you need, isn't it? Well, there you get water in them. That's dangerous. Yeah. Oh wow. Beautiful up here. Trees as far as the eye can see. And mountains. I'm doing a use Simon, I've got some Tinder card. Good man. Your favourite. You know it makes sense. Where is it? <laughs> the old man-made birch bark. Yeah, good to see you're doing it you know proper proper my style with my knife. <laughs> <laughs> well I don't want to paddle in a membraned canoe <laughs> with a knife on my belt. That's right at the bottom of my pack. Shots, uh... <laughs> Gonna fire up and go in. Right this moment. 
it's uh, on a rock surface and away from anything flammable which is the rules here on the Norway side um, and we've only got stuff off the floor no uh, axing trees down or anything though we have seen signs of that about yeah just because this is lovely na natural park reserve whatever you want to call it wilderness, isn't it? wilderness basically it wilderness. <laughs> going on for as far as you can see gosh feel that <laughs> It's warm. The wind is blowing this way, so it's getting us. We'll appreciate that in a bit. Funny enough, can't see any mozzies. Can't see anything. <laughs> oh no, we're going to have a rock on. That might be, might be right. Get kettle on. I thought it was a good idea to do a bit of a stock take of what we got left food wise. Obviously, pretty much all the fresh stuff's gone. Uh, we've got a whole pack of the polar bread, um, which is apparently being manufactured in other places at the moment because there was a big fire at the polar bread factory. Bit of a national disaster, that. Um, we've got our moose meat leftovers, and we've got some elk meat here as well. I'm guessing that's kind of preserved in some way, also. We've got lots of steak detective. Uh, we've got lots of these um, freeze-dried meals, a Norwegian one, which were kindly given uh, for the trip to Simon from a viewer. Um, some rice left over. We've got flour and some baking powder and stuff and some syrup. So we're probably going to do pancakes tomorrow and pick some blueberries because they are everywhere. Salami still, a couple of cheeses, like these uh, tube cheeses. Um, I think there's another couple of these as well, noodles. Uh, milk powder, stock, other flavouring things. We've got one avocado left, plenty of kind of biscuits, uh, some drinks for our vitamin C to stave off our scurvy. <laughs> <laughs> Two chocolate bars left. We've got um, a load of these hot chocolates because we've just been too tired and run out of time to even do hot chocolates. And some spreads as well as some more sort of ketchups. Um, so yeah, we're just going to kind of figure out what's what and uh, make some dinner. We've just had a reindeer sighting. We have seen loads already, but to have one so close to camp is nice. I think you may have scarpered though. Gone. That it gone. Sugar stack. <laughs> Two sugars, is it? Yes, please. Getting blown. Oh. Cheers, sir. Cheers. Chin chin. Chin All chin. Right. I've got a steak detective. <laughs> chin chin. Flood the cowling. <laughs> I've had dehydrated meals, but I'm going to add in some of this leftover meat. I can't remember if it's moose or reindeer now, but uh, it's going to add a little something. And it needs eating. Just a well, I'm having a um, pasta bolognese. These are decomposable, so. You have to put them into a receptacle. And I've put it in the pot so I can add some of that reindeer meat because it needs eating.
Brewdog Punks tonight. It's been quite fun having not knowing what beers are coming next because mm. they were picked for us. Absolutely. <laughs> so a cheers to Peter for getting all the beers and a, a cheers to you sir. Cheers. Ka-ching. Just like home. Mm -hmm. All the beers have been good. <laughs> yeah, they have. I like the um, Nordland gold that we had last night as well. Mm. I nice took a beer. picture of one of the ones I like. Because mm. it tasted like um, poda, uh, Pogo wild beer. Oh, was that the, um, the one? It was quite a fruity one, wasn't it? Lava and stuff. Yeah. Uh, that's on camera too. They're all staying in. <laughs> right, let's see what we've got here. Ooh. It's not super moist, but the proof is in the pudding. Yeah, it's not too bad when it's mixed. Let's have a look and the taste. Good and mixed. Mm. How's yours? It's really nice, but it's a bit on the dry side. Mm. It tastes good, but I think... Yeah, most dehydrated, you go under, but these mm. definitely need a little more. Yeah, it said 450, I think. 500, maybe even more. It's rehydrated, but it's not... Mm. Like this could be a bit saucy for a bolognese, mm. but yeah, it's nice. And mine, it's a curry. Mm. You know, and it's uh, yeah, yeah, but very tasty. Yeah, very nice. What did you say this is? Not spaghetti. It's or orzo, is it? Orzo. It's like spaghetti in rice form. Yeah. Mm. It's got that sort of taste. Mm. Pretty warm by the fire here. Yeah? Mm. But warmer than we have been. Well, last night was the first time we, we actually had one. Had a fire, and because it was in a, one of them yeah. raised fire pits, yeah. you don't get the warmth, do you? Not on your legs, anyway. I don't feel as knackered as yesterday. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Gentler day, wasn't it, without that wind? I know it was a bit windy coming across the lake yeah, here, actually, yeah. wouldn't it? But it was a little bit. It, didn't, it was nothing like yesterday. I think we might have that the rest of the way. I've got a funny thing. That's us all done for the night, rested and relaxed for a big day tomorrow. Lots of rapids, rivers and small lakes and then it's the home stretch the next day. What view did you wake up with this morning? I bet it doesn't beat this. In amongst the blueberries are these blackberries. Um, they're on a plant with uh, smaller leaves and the berries are slightly darker, but it would be quite easy to get them mixed up. I don't know if that'd be a problem or not because I don't know what they are. So we're avoiding them obviously. The fire's on for pancakes shortly, my turn. 
try and get a rise out of them. Yeah, <laughs> mine were a bit. <laughs> we'll see. Mine were a bit um, firm, dense. Scotch pang, <laughs> yeah, I'd call yeah. yours, rather than yeah. American style. Yeah. Uh, we've got one avocado left, so we're going to have it with it. Mm. Be a bit weird with the syrup as well, but it's fresh. Fresh. Is it a fruit or a vegetable? It's avocado? a fruit. Well, fresh fruit then. Yep. Um, yeah. My amok went down a bit in the night. By the morning, I was pretty much on the floor, <laughs> which is completely okay because the the mat. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Like the trees moved in the night, I reckon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, that one is leaning a bit. I don't weigh that much. <laughs> right, breakfast? Yes, please. That sounds good. Get some energy for the day. Mm. Glad we double wrapped this. Yeah. That paper packet wasn't going to last very long, was it? No. Pancakes. And in Simon's pouch we have some baking powder. Ooh. Yeah, I reckon both. That'll help with the rise. And obviously we don't have any milk <laughs> milk powder. Oil in. Double egg. And both of them had full yolks. Yeah. Not broken. And a little thicker. Rising on level. Quite a lot, yeah. That's good. You definitely win on the pancake. It's only a Brad. touch more of a rise. <laughs> give you one of the bottom ones there a bit more. Oh, nice. Blue gooey. I like the gooey ones. Uh, even though. Uh, avocado. That is sliced. Stave like off it the is. scurvy. That's it. I'm going to try and keep this to the pancakes. Okay. 
And that's us off again. Lovely spot. If it wasn't for the wind, it would be perfect. Wasn't quite as abundant in blueberries. I think something had been eating them, to be honest. There was some unripe ones. But yeah, lovely spot. Um, yeah, we haven't really set off early. <laughs> We've got to get to a certain point today. So it uh, should be okay, just depends on how many of the um, portages and rapids and stuff that we meet, especially with these uh, low water levels. But I'm sure we'll see what comes. I can hear the, um, the first one coming off this lake just around the corner here. We've been listening to that, so if it's that loud, Probably be going to be one to avoid. Around this corner, we'll find out. Uh, we just go in blind and run it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just go for it. Full steam. Well, Simon went for it, but he lined mine down. and quite got a confidence with that. Yeah, if there's one a bit better than that, I'll uh, give it a go. But this lake is about 100 metres across <laughs> to our next rapids or whatever it will be. But uh, yeah, this is a day that could be long from all of these portages, linings, rapids and small little lakes and river sections and then tomorrow is kind of pretty much going to be one lake I think one and a half
a tree. That was one of our hardest portages yet. Really narrow paths. Ones you wouldn't even particularly want to walk down, let alone carry a canoe. We did four trips in the end. Then we had a little scare, we might have gone into the wrong lake because there's one up there, but that's a higher one. <laughs> but it's done. We'll be a few more. Before lunch. And our first sign of life in quite some time. There's a boat on here. Down the other end of the lake. Yeah, fishing. Well, the guy we just passed was in a pack raft. He informed us that there is rain due tomorrow. <laughs> and as you may know, I lost my raincoat. As long as it don't get too cold, it should be okay. So I've got my change of clothes for the evenings. It was pretty soaking wet most of the last trip and that was hail and snow. <laughs> Right, not much longer on this lake, and then more hard work. Yeah, no idea what this meat is, but we're going to um, cut it up and add it to our dinner tonight. We're just having dehydrated meals, but they're a Norwegian dehydrated meal. I'll show you them in a minute. We just thought we'd beef it up <laughs> with some meat because the meal is actually vegetarian, so no meat in it. You've got to have some meat in your dinner, haven't you, Andy? Uh-huh. Thank yeah, you. Buddy. Mystery meal. Mystery meal. But it has we're giving meat. it a mush-up. I give it a mush-up to begin with. You probably want to give it another one now. Just, uh, this is a mystery dehydrated meal. But it is Norwegian. Mm. And we have add, added some... Cool. Smells good curry like isn't it? We've added some meat, some sort of cured meat. Mystery meat. Mystery meat. <laughs> mystery meal, mystery meat. But yeah this looks very ricey and yeah. yeah a little bit curry like. But yeah we just got here, we've had such a day, it's been rapid after rapid, portage after portage, lining after lining. It's exhausting, we have portaged as much as we've paddled. Yeah. Easily. <laughs> it's been grueling actually. Oh, back. oh, you just missed oh. it. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Hello. <laughs> Come <laughs> round. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's been a hell of a day, so we just wanted to get in, get set up quickly, get the fire lit, eat, have a beer, probably go to bed and try and get up early because well, hopefully tomorrow will be better. In the beginning will be at least. Yeah, we've got a big bit of lake paddling. Yeah. But I think there will be more. 
Mm. Or just at the other end. Yeah. I've got my laundry all around the fire area here. <laughs> That's authenticity. Mm. That's good. Well guys, that's me done for the night. It's been a very hard day. I need my sleep and we're getting up early to try and make some ground because we've got to be at a certain point at a certain time. See you in the morning. morning early today raining last night it's actually pretty cold very cloudy uh, really gonna feel not having the jacket today <laughs> all right I can't film taking this shelter down or any of that because we've got to get it going we've got a lot of distance to cover so Feel like me? Morning. I feel awful. I've done something to my foot. Okay, climbing over all them rocks yesterday. I've pulled something, and it's painful from here all the way up, like to my ankle. It was your other leg that you Probably. banged, isn't it? Probably the shin. Around. Yeah, no, no. I've banged my, oh, my shin there. This is bruised. It's a bit bruised. It's gone down from yesterday. We're going to feel today. Hey. We're going to feel today. Oh yes. Send help. <laughs> and the first thing we've got to deal with is a few rapids. But then we're into a big lake. It's come to the point. Breaking into the uh, first aid kit. And pulling out the ibuprofen. Gonna need them today, possibly tonight. I suppose I'm gonna have to clean my kit bomb up too. Some of that cinnamon biscuit, which we think is like a twice baked polar bread. And the chocolate spread, try and get a little of an energy to begin this lake and rapid. Time to change into the still damp socks and water shoes the last full day because tomorrow's only kind of a half day we've got to get to the ferry point at um oh, I'm bitten on my foot oh, to the ferry point at two in the afternoon and uh well if we miss that ferry we're here another week <laughs> we gotta paddle that i think it's the second biggest lake 
in Norway if that happens. And I've not got that in me. These shoes are useless. I don't know if there's any point in putting the inner sole back in. It's just jumping over them rocks. Oh, like that portage that was like, well, about a kilometre. It's our longest portage yet. Killer. I've had a, yeah, we're even calling ones that we'd normally call long short compared to some of them. But yeah, we'll get these on. We'll get going down them rapids into the lake. And there's two big lakes to paddle today and probably some portaging because there's small rivers on the other end. We'll just have to see as we go. Hopefully not as bad as today. That just killed us both. No inner soul in this one at all. Okay, we've dropped him to the lake here. Hopefully you won't hear that noise for a while. But the wind, as feared, is against us. So it's gonna be another slog. Still no portaging. There's a few rocks ahead here. Just into the opening of the uh, lake. Just gotta get it right. There's one under the water there. There we go. Right, here we go. So we've got some blue sky on the horizon. Just passed from one lake to another. Well, I think they're like minor and major or big and little. So, quite a lot of wind and waves coming through the middle there. Everything channeling through that gap. So we're just coming in for a short rest stop before finishing this lake. And then onto the unknown, really. We know it's river sections, but uh, we can only pray there's not as many portages as before. <laughs> Short five minute break over now. Ooh, readjust. Uh, just to get through this slightly bigger lake. Then uh, we're gonna stop for a lunch on the other side because we are, well, we think we're ahead of schedule. Depends what's in the unknown. <laughs> but um, on these two lakes, we've passed a little bit more activity than we've seen in a while. There's um, back there, opposite where we were having a break, some pack rafters. They must be getting blown all over the place, because I am. <laughs> um, there was a couple of back there as well, on the other lake, a couple of hikers camping on the shoreline. So I think over that side of these lakes is the main hiking trail through the National Park. And we had a look at the map and a couple of cabins as well. Must be lovely having them little cabins to come out to on your weekend or on your holidays. I 
think I don't know but uh, in the national parks I think you're not allowed to build them anymore so I'm guessing if you had them pre-existing before they were made national parks to pre stay in your family or something I would guess very lucky we did pass one extremely remote one by one of the rapids to a very nice spot yeah, we'll get this lake done and uh, fill our bellies because crackers and chocolate sauce, chocolate spread not enough to get you through a day I do like them crackers though I might try and see if I can get some before we go home or if you can import them or something Around this corner here is the mouth of the river we're going to be entering and we'll get a better idea of what we're up against. Possibility of rapids coming into it, there'll definitely be some. We'll just have to see if they're doable, lineable or portageable. I can hear it. I can hear the rapids. I can see where it drops down. If they're bad, we're stopping for lunch. <laughs> There's a few uh, boats around here, like fishing boats. So we're still pretty wilderness here, but starting to see more signs of where people come. Maybe that's because of the ferry on the other side when we finally get there. Maybe it's a good starting off point for trips for people. Yeah, this is a path of sorts. A path. What counts as a path? The path. Looking like a portage. Yeah. Well, I'm not paddling it anyway. Certainly <laughs> that first bit. It's a bit chaotic there, wouldn't it? Yeah. But if he's not trying it, I'm definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> These rocks, they really start to hurt your feet after a while, like the arch of your feet, jumping from rock to rock. Oh dear. You see how most of them are black there? That's the usual water level. It's only them grey bits that would be above the water usually. So that's why a lot of these rapids are, are worse than usual. There's no rocks you can just skate over or anything. They're all just kind of protruding. <sighs> Portage time.
Oh, thank you so much. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try some chorizo dust. What the size of this horse hoof fungus down by the stream here, or by the river. Not carrying that though. Spot of lunch and a little bit sick of polar bread and cream cheese. But like I said, it's our last full day and we're straight into some rapids. So let's see how this goes. Simon's just got hung up by the looks of it. Oh no, he's all right. Be me that gets hung up. What a day. <laughs> so, where I left you last, I went in, smacked right into a rock on some white water, and uh, yeah, I went in stupidly. The one time I think I become complacent just for exhaustion, and the camera went in with me. <laughs> yeah, it's ruined. <laughs> So that's drone problems, SD card problems, camera problems. This is a disaster trip. Everything going wrong. Oh, changed clothes. 
put the wet ones into a dry bag, which has kind of seeped onto other stuff in the pack. Thank God it's our last day, our last full day. Just back in the wet clothes tomorrow and make it to this ferry we have to catch. But yeah, we, oh, it's just been one thing after another. The hardest day of my life, after the second hardest day of my life, after some other really trying days. It's exhausting. It's hard to find the time to appreciate the surroundings when you're either paddling against the wind or portaging or doing rapids. It's the portaging. It's just been one after another. Longest one we had was about one kilometre and then you go, I don't know, 100 metres paddle and you're back on another portage. And um, where we've camped here was after probably two kilometers and imagine all the stuff we've got with us and then big canoes and they're winding around trees over rocks grueling um, I lost one of my kind of dry shoes wet shoes whatever you want to call them when I went in so I've been wearing my kind of camp slippers kind of like cheapo croc type things one of them went in a boggy area and broken oh my goodness so we just got here one of the canoes is still up the top about two kilometers away we'll go get it in the morning simon actually um brought down one on his own somehow i know they're light but jesus because um i bashed my leg when i went in i don't know if it's on the gunnel of the boat or on the rock but it's it's agony and um, yeah, so we just set up here. We've got to make this ferry at uh, two o'clock tomorrow. So we're gonna get up extra early and um, just make our way. We've got um, the rest of this portage to do, which isn't a short distance by any measure. And I think looking, we've got some signal, look at the Google Maps. It looks like there's probably two more as well. With any luck, we can line the boats down one or something. Um, this ferry, if we miss it, is not there for another week. So it means paddling the second biggest lake in Norway. Obviously, we'd miss our plane and everything. Uh, we haven't got the food, the supplies, certainly haven't got the energy. I've never been this drained in my life. Anyway, enough moaning. <laughs> We get some sleep, which should come easy, and um, yeah, get up extra early. Um, I can only really film on my action camera, and I haven't done a lot of that since I went in, to be honest, so we'll just see how it goes. Extremely trying. Good night. Hopefully you can hear me. We've just done the rest of that sort of two kilometer portage to start our early or early morning. We've got a tiny paddle, another portage probably, tiny paddle, another portage, then we should be home free. <sighs> Onwards and downwards.
Don't know what you're so happy about. <laughs> Another portage. Well, I don't know how long that is, can't see the bottom, but it can't be as long as the ones we've done because of the distance left. Let's get a gear out and go again. During this portage I noticed a few um, trees that have been taken down by beaver and then Simon has just noticed their lodge over there across the uh, river. And after a 50 metre paddle, it's the next rapids. Simon's just checking it out now. Hopefully lineable, but uh, if not, it should be our last portage, looking at the map. But with the water low, you never know really. But we're so close to our goal now. I think we've still got four hours, so we should be ahead of schedule, he says. Such wood. like a calf with an udder. <laughs> uh, <coughs> <a> slow udder. <laughs> okay, it should be the home stretch. Down to the lake.
just come around the corner from the mouth of the river. And there it is, the jetty for the ferry. Woohoo! We did it! Yeah, it's a, <laughs> a little bit wavy here. We did it! And Norway's second largest lake. We did it! <laughs> Hopefully the ferry's not cancelled. <laughs> I hope not. It's a long, long paddle to get the... Oh no. <laughs> I've had enough now. I've had enough now. If the ferry doesn't come, we're going to wait a week. Yeah. I want a burger and a Coca-Cola. Oh. <laughs> and a bed and a shower. Yeah. Oh God. Well done, man. And you. Well done. Man. Down next to the pier here, we've got a Statscog shelter with a nice live roof and chimney. Maybe a moose jaw. And a little gear storage area. Look at this. Got three bunks. Little kitchenette area, stove, a few logs, gear drying lines, and a well graffitied table. And I did notice the playing cards all got different shelters and cabins on, pretty appropriate. Would have been pretty nice to stay here last night. There probably would have been people here though because um, there was a ferry this morning, same ferry obviously, going to the south of the lake and um, that went at nine. So people probably would have been here waiting for that. It seems a lot of people going that way um, of the two groups we spoke to <laughs> and saw on the way in. But yeah, this is a lovely little shelter. And just up from the pier a bit, which is why I'm out of breath, this lovely little information board. It's the most beautiful information board I've ever seen. All this burly wood and a live roof. <laughs> Love it. These are my camp slippers because I lost a shoe when I went in the water and you can see I've even done a repair on one of them because they were just coming off every time I stepped in mud. Oh, we have been carrying them canoes more than paddling them for two days. It's just been hiking with canoes and barrels and packs rather than paddling. Brutal and relentless. I'm ecstatic to be here.
be even happier when the ferry comes here. <laughs> That's the one unknown. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. We're just waiting for our ferry here on the jetty or pier. Got our canoes all ready to go. Apparently they'll take them whole. These are collapsible canoes, alleys by Bergens. And you build up this frame inside the uh, PVC kind of shell, if you like. So if you don't have much storage, pretty good. And yeah, pretty lightweight compared to a normal canoe. Just not when you're uh, lugging it a kilometer portage. <laughs>